Would you still consider being a modern taxi driver with the information I'm about to give you? Hey news friends, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Lyft and Uber. An MIT study showed that working for Lyft and Uber pays you next to nothing. The study interviewed 1,100 Lyft and Uber drivers and combined their information with detailed vehicle cost information. They factored fuel, maintenance, insurance, and repairs and came up with a median per dollar figure. The result? The median pay was $3.37 per hour. And that's before income tax. That equates to about $661 a month. At that rate, it showed that 74% of drivers make less than minimum wage in their state. And of course, neither Lyft or Uber wanted to comment on the report. And why would they? They just got called out for being shady, even though we all know that they're shady anyway. So how do they get away with this? Loopholes, of course. Since they're a tech company, they can shift pricing whenever they feel like to be competitive. And that's because the rideshare business currently doesn't have a set price point, which means you, as the driver, take the grunt of the revenue loss. And the company doesn't necessarily lose money by lowering their prices. Since the driver and passenger don't see each other's screens, what the passenger pays isn't necessarily what the driver gets, minus the commission. I've witnessed this firsthand being a Lyft driver, where my passenger paid a certain price, but I didn't get that fare minus the commission. That means I'm sure the companies are charging more commission than they say they're charging, even if it adds up on your screen. Being an accountant by day, I'd love to see their creative accounting on how they're booking these transactions to the GL. I bet they have a revenue line called duping drivers out of their hard-earned fares. I can see that small hourly wage too. Sometimes when I'm driving around, I only make like $10 an hour, and that's before any fixed car costs. Yes, of course it depends what time of day you're driving and things like that, but I think for the most part, the drivers are being exploited by the tech company for their own gain. So obviously, it's pretty near impossible to make a living driving around all day as a modern taxi driver. So what you could do, if you're a smart business person, is use your driving knowledge and parlay that into a business of its own. Like creating your own rideshare blog and blogging about your experiences. Using YouTube as your medium to gain exposure and create business related deals related to ride sharing. Teaching people and giving them tips on how to be a better ride share driver. If you can successfully use your ride share knowledge in other business ways other than driving around, you'll be making money without driving around at all. Thus, you free yourself from the tech company's grip and you can still make a living. Are you surprised by MIT's findings? If you're considering being a ride share driver, does this study change your mind? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, until next time, this is Newcomb384 saying I'll see you when I see you.